Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Nancy Drew, the Captive Curse. Last time we explored the passageways a little bit more fully and we found an amulet, which is very fancy, an amulet necklace thing. Not quite sure what we're going to do with it yet, but I think we want, yeah, okay, this is back to the secret passages. Hmm. Where's our map? Our handy dandy map. Map? Are you... No, you are not the map. Which is the map? Oh, there we go. This is the map that I seek. So... I think... It's been a little while. I think we're at this entrance? Maybe? Is that... Let's see. Oh, yeah, so that's the tree. Which means we're here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, <gasps> whoops. Here we go. So. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I wonder. Not exactly sure where I'm going. I feel like we need a thing. Have we... I think... well... Okay, we might have explored it enough. Let's go on up. Is this the one... okay, yeah, this is the one to my room. Hmm. Well, we've found the necklace. Where's that girl? Where's the picture of that girl? Isn't there... aren't there portraits of the ladies? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, right, they're over here. Okay. This one. Is the one with the amulet? Maybe? Yeah, this is the one with the amulet. Okay. Hmm. I don't think that's where we want to go, is it? So let's see. Carl, do you have anything for us? Hi again. Tell me about the accident. What are you talking about? I think you know what I'm talking about. <sighs> this castle, it is very old. It is not built for so many visitors. When I started, I thought it would be nice to have tours, take people around. Right. I took a group down into the dungeon. I thought it would be fun to show them the cells. I did not know what would happen. I really did not. What happened? I closed the door and the whole room collapsed. Ugh. Was everyone okay? No one died, but a few came very close. I stood on the other side of the door and there was nothing I could do. Oh dear. Is that why you don't want tourists here? I am a magnet for bad luck. It is best that I be left alone. Why do you say you're a magnet for bad luck? You will think it silly. No, I promise I won't. When I was a boy, I took a train to Berlin with my father. He fell asleep, so I wandered the train in the pack. I found a boy my age to play with. Strangely, he looked just like me. Like a find doppelganger? A exactly like a doppelganger. The boy was very strange. The whole time we played together, he did not say a single word. Very unnerving. Eventually, my father found us. He had this expression I'd never seen before. At first, I thought he was angry I'd wandered off. 
But no, he was scared. He grabbed my arm and yanked me back to our car. I remember looking at the boy, and he had the oddest smile. I don't understand. You must never meet your doppelganger. And if you see yours one day, run! To allow them even a moment in your life is to be cursed, like me. You don't really think you're cursed, do you? After that day, everyone I loved, everyone I cared about, got hurt or fell ill. So I moved here. Never heard Why? of that kind of curse. Some people hide in castles to stay safe behind the walls. I use these walls to keep the world safe from me, but... Now, you see, even that isn't working. I'm sure it's just a coincidence. It's not. Now, if you'll please leave me alone. Hmm. What do you think of Renata? Did you know that Anya wants her to go? I don't understand why. She's such a great storyteller. This isn't the first time she's come here, you know. Although it was before my time, she knows a lot about this place. Anya told me she likes Renata. I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Maybe she's trying to impress you by pretending to be far friendlier than she actually is. Mm. What has happened with the monster so far? I don't know. I've heard all sorts of things. Magda saw him out in the woods last week. She was out gathering herbs after a rainstorm. She drops her basket and when she looked back up, she saw him standing there. She was sure she was going to get it, but the monster just walked away. Hmm. Where is Magda? Can I talk to her? You can try, but good luck with that. She's bolted her door and she hasn't come out since that night. Come to think of it, you should leave her alone. Where's her I door? I just want to ask her a few questions. I know exactly what you want to do, and I'm telling you that you need to leave her alone. Huh. Bye. Goodbye. Interesting. Oh, what? Wait. Oh, there's a thing. What is I this? I need to recreate the pattern with the pieces I have here. Huh. This is another puzzle. Could be. It's green. It's not the one that I want. That looks right. Okay. That is not the one that I wanted, friend. I want orange! Because I can do this quarter! Uh, salmon? Are you salmon-y enough? Mm. Okay. Yes, I can rotate it like I did the other one. That would have been another half hour of confusion. I assume that these spots are blank, presumably. Okay. Huh. Well, this one wasn't too hard. Unless I did it wrong. She knows. Possible. Did I do it? I did, didn't I? It looks right to me. Yes? No? Maybe so? Hopefully so? Oh. Oh! Well, you know, this would have been useful. Right click to rotate. <laughs> Oh dear, I wish I had found that when I was snooping through Granny's bag. This looks right, doesn't it? Huh. I wonder. 
No, did I just... I scrambled it. Rats. I scrambled it, guys. Shoot. Crumpet, crumpet, crumpet. Tea and crumpet. Well, maybe by doing it again, it'll fix it. Right? No, it's it should go down there. Deep orange. There. Salmon. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, you. You. Is that what I did wrong? I don't even remember now. Okay. Might have done a few things wrong. There. Did that do it? That looks right. Huh. We don't have anything for it in here, though, do we? Weird. Nothing's happening. Hmm. Not quite sure what's wrong. Well, we might come back to that. I want to chat with some more people. But now we know it's there. Let's see. Are you in a tidier mood? Oh. I found a strange necklace out in the forest. Maybe she it's knows like something. It's like the necklaces in the gift shop, but much older, I think. Yes. Much, much, much older. You must get rid of this. Why? Because it's dangerous. That's why. Huh. What do you think of Anya? You ask me? She should be in charge of this castle. She's smart. She's strong. She actually understands the history of the castle. Why is that important? When I'm here, I try not to tell the stories of what has happened at this castle. Why not? Fate has a cruel habit of digging in its claws when tempted. But I will say this. In the event of disaster, I'd rather have Anya in charge than Karl. Hmm. How well do you know Karl? Him? I know him as well as anyone can, I guess. What do you mean? The way he locks himself up in the castle. He never leaves. He's hiding from the world. Why do you think he's doing that? I don't know. Me either. What are the chances that the reason is a happy one? Well, we do Probably know Probably not great. Right. Do you and Carl get along? No. Why is that? I ask you, do we seem like we should get along? He's an officious bureaucrat. He's desperate to control everything. You can't trust someone like that. Why don't you tell stories about the castle when you're here? This land, this castle, has known more than its fair share of misery. There is a saying from where I'm from. When death goes to take a ride, he follows the road that serves him best. If that's what you believe, why are you here? My affairs are mine alone. And anyway, a good storyteller knows to leave the big reveal for the end. What if I don't want a story? What if I just want to know why you're here? You're very persistent. I was right to like you. Still, my life's work is words. I know them well. When to speak. More importantly, when to stay silent. I'll let you go. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Well, somewhat helpful. Carl likes her, but she doesn't like Carl. Let's chat with Anya. Let's see what we have Hi. to chat about. I found this necklace. What do you make of it? This... This is not like the necklaces I sell. This is... old. I'm not certain, but that might be the original necklace. What does that mean? I don't know, but I wouldn't be carrying that thing around. That's what all those girls were wearing when... Well, you know. When the monster took them. Oh dear. Can you tell me a little more about the festival? 
It's the best. It's a shame that you're here this year. Normally, it's so much bigger. It's this big get-together with lots of dancing and great food and great stories. Oh, and there is this fantastic cake. It's just amazing. What is the festival a celebration of? Well, the story goes that when the monster took his first victim, the whole castle got together and built a huge bonfire and took an oath to find and destroy the monster. They met each year to renew their pledge, and they'd burn a monster made of sticks in effigy. But as the years went by, it just became an excuse to get the whole castle together for a fun night. Well, that's the story most years. Thanks, see you later. Bye, Nancy. Interesting. Let's see, does Lucas have anything? Hey, Nancy. No. Thanks, see you later. See ya. Oh well. Hmm. Well, I might try to figure out how to finish off this glass thing. And uh, maybe find where that lady's room is? Because that's a little weird. I'm not entirely sure where it would be. But I will see you next time and maybe we'll solve the glass box. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!